we continue to take in those condolences that are being sent to the Butelezi family, the IFP and the Amazulu nation. Now, this as South Africans reflect on that legacy and the role of Mangosutu Butelezi. To unpack the traditional components a little further, we're joined by the head of the Royal House of the Mandela um, and of the Mveso Traditional Council, Nkosi Zweli. Uh, um, Nkosi Mandela, so, my apologies there, uh, I got distracted. Um, thank you very much uh, for joining us uh, this afternoon. Um, let's talk about that legacy that was created uh, by uh, Mr. Butelezi or Prince Mangosuthu Butelezi um, and really just what we are seeing when it comes to the role that he played in making sure that traditional leadership has a significant voice in the decision making uh, of the state. Well, uh, we as the Royal House of Mandela in terms of traditional council, we would like uh, to uh, send our condolences first and foremost to the Butelezi royal family and also the people uh, under the Butelezi clan in Mashabatini and the broader Zulu nation. As Umdona had uh, played an instrumental role in the monarch uh, serving three kings, we also want to send our condolences to Inkata Freedom Party, the party of Umdwana Kapindangel. We as uh, uh, the family have been uh, 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 proud to have this relationship, which has uh, dated uh, back to uh, 1954 with the Butelezi family. My grandfather was one of the legal advisors uh, to His Majesty King Peguzul. And often uh, during the 50s, uh, Umduana would accompany His Majesty to 8115 in Vilagazi Street to consult with my grandfather on a number of legal matters. But that relationship uh, grew even closer when my grandfather was incarcerated uh, for life imprisonment and served 27 years in prison. He kept close ties uh, with uh, Umdu Anakapindange. On his release, he continued to uh, utilize his knowledge into uh, coming closer to the Zulu royal family. And I recall at the time when my grandfather engaged uh, uh, robustly with uh, uh, His Majesty uh, King Zulitin, uh, contesting the issue as who was truly in charge of the Zulu nation. And I think this was the bone of contention between His Majesty and Umduana Kapindangen, because it had seemed that as a political leader in Dinduna, Nkulu uh, Yagwazu, he had assumed the role, but uh, uh, His Majesty uh, King Zulitini had to continuously assert himself as the uh, ruler of the Zulu nation. But Umduana has always played that role as an elder and a father figure to uh, be the counselor and the a senior counselor in the Zulu royal family. And many of us admired that. And I think many of us as chiefs in uh, South Africa have always looked to him as a, an instrumental figure that has been able to hold his own uh, as uh, the Butelezi chief but also as in Dunankulu of KwaZulu Natal. And I think many of us, as we serve our own kingdoms and our own kings, we want to emulate Umduana uh, uh, and Prince Butelezi to ensure that uh, we can be of service in the monarchs that we reside in, whether really we are about I just want to come in there. My apologies for interrupting you, but I, I just want to no. uh, lament on the point that you've just made um, on his role as a traditional leader. And as a reflection for yourself and your nation in particular, what are some of the key things you think can be learned uh, to, to strengthen um, a nation uh, like he was able to be instrumental in doing for the Amazulu nation? Um, it has been argued over the past uh, few uh, hours that we've uh, unpacked his legacy, that it has been the strongest that it's been, even through the turbulence that it, it's experienced over the last few months? I think uh, every chief uh, would agree that uh, Umdua Nagapindangena has played an instrumental role in the royal family, in fact, to bring about stability 
during the uh, era of uh, uh, His Majesty King Pegizul, as well as His Majesty uh, King Zoliti. We have been very proud uh, uh, currently of seeing, seeing tradition and uh, uh, properly administered to see uh, His Majesty King Mrs. Zulu into office. And I think this is what we will always remember of him, that he was a custodian of tradition and culture. He has always stood on the side of truth, no matter how difficult the issues have been. But he has been able to say, this is what our tradition has been, and continue to narrate that so that he brings about the stability that is needed within many royal families. And I think this is what uh, all of us as chiefs uh, uh, throughout the Republic of South Africa will always admire and learn from his legacy, that he was a support system to the uh, royal family and the greater Zulu nation. And I think those that continue to be senior traditional uh, leaders serving their own kingdoms and advising their own kings seek to emulate what Umtu Anakapindangene was to the Zulu royal family. Thank you very much uh, for those insights. Uh, that is uh, the head of the Royal House of Mandela and Mvezo, the traditional council, Nkosi Zweli Velile Mandela, joining us to reflect on uh, the traditional leadership legacy that has now been left behind by Prince Mongosutu Butelezi, passing away in the early hours of this morning, aged 95. Of course, uh, the coverage around his life and what will happen for his send-off will continue uh, at at the top of the hour in South Africa tonight, what you have coming up now is a drive on ENCA. I'll be back with you at 3 p.m. tomorrow. Oh.